Thank you very much for your presentation. Um, I think the most important is uh, that um, I am involved in your in your fight, and uh, I am now from three years in train, and I was on Maidan during three months. And um, I am French, and as all the Frenchmen, we love freedom. And I want to underline, first of all, thank you for your invitation. Because I think it's very important to do a conference like that, to show to the rest of the world what's happening in Ukraine. I'm a Frenchman, and I want to divide my speech in two parts. First part, because I am French, I want to talk about the propaganda, and the propaganda in France, Russian propaganda, is very efficient and big. Everybody knows the history of those uh, member of parliament, French member of parliament who were in Crimea. And everybody knows that our former president, Nicolas Sarkozy, went in Kremlin to see Putin. I did some press conference <coughs> because I was against the visit of this member of the parliament, French parliament, in Crimea. But you have to know that this is like caviar diplomacy in Azerbaijan. And, uh, but we have to underline that the Russian propaganda in France is very efficient. In the extreme left party, in the extreme right party, but also in some, can I say, classical party. The European Union has to face this propaganda, not only France, and the Putin administration is using the same instrument that the Soviet Union. They are lying, manipulating, and uh, use some, can I say, useful idiots. Those useful idiots now are from this extreme, extreme right party and extreme left party. But in France, we can see that this is the same way that when the Soviet Union used the Communist Party, the same way. They lie in the same way. But we have a chance. Russia is not the Soviet Union. And the Russian army is not the Red Army. Russia represents only 2.5% of the gross domestic product of the world. Only. And if we had US and EU, we represent almost more than 40-45% of the gross domestic product GDP of the world. And NATO is the first military forces in Europe. That's mean. We have, when we go to negotiate with Putin, we have to know that we are the strongest. To face the Putin propaganda, we don't need to do a propaganda for the open union, or about the open union. We need only to present the facts. We need to present the result of the Putin policy in economy, in social life, in press freedom, in policy of preparation. You know, I give more than 100 interviews for French TV and French newspaper. And to attack the Putin's supporters, I have a useful argument. I say that to be for Putin is to be for underdeveloped Russia with bad transport, bad roads, bad university, all the inefficient hospitals to be for Putin is to be for Russia with corruption, prostitution, alcoholism, violence. To be for, to be for Putin is to be against the Russian people. To be for Putin is to be for against the Russian people. <coughs> is to make these Russian people slaves, zombies, under an authoritarian regime. To be for Putin is to come back to the past, to the Soviet Union, and is to give no future for the new generation. To be for Putin is to be for the war in Ukraine and Europe. And I want to add a concrete thing. 
I am engaged in the war, propaganda war, because I am presenter of a TV program in Ukraine on the first Ukraine channel, Fierce Channel, UAT Time program. I have three recordings each week and two broadcasts on your uh, TV station. I invited Deputy Minister, President of EU Institutions, and I am fighting in this way. That's why. And I am volunteers. I have no money, nothing, no support. I work two days per week to provide the real fact about what's happening in Ukraine. We are on satellites in 30 countries. And I have no money. I do that because I believe, as I said, I am a Frenchman and I love freedom. I have a part then to be against Putin for me is to be for Russia and for democracy and for the Russian people and against the war, of course, in Ukraine and Europe. And other part, we talk about propaganda, now we will talk about the military aggression of Russia and Ukraine. Ukraine now is in war. And for example, in France, we don't like to talk about war. We talk about civil war, but we don't like to put this word of war. The war is in the east of Ukraine, this is a fact. To win this war, Ukraine needs modern defensive weapons and more European and US sanctions against the Kremlin. Putin will continue to disturb Ukraine because a free Ukraine is a danger for its power and system in Russia. As a former agent of the KGB, he knows how to lie and manipulate it. And manipulate. We have to not believe what he says. We only have to believe what he will do really. He only understands as a post-Soviet leader the power of the brutal force. He lived in the past, the nostalgia of the Soviet Empire. And I want also to come to concrete things. Before summer, I was asked by one of my friends, because I have some friends on Maidan who are now volunteers in Atozona. And before summer, a friend of mine asked me to work on the law to give a status to the foreigner while fighting for a train. In June, in June 19, we had a round table about the practical issues of the foreigner's service in the Ukraine Army. In Ukraine form, the National News Agency of Ukraine. The organizers were Ukraine Forum, Verkhovna Rada Committee for National Security and Defense of Ukraine, Ministry of Defense of Ukraine, and the NGO IEC of National Security. This law was voted. This law was voted a few weeks ago, and the President Petro Poroshenko signed the law. I worked on this law because they asked me to give some example of the French Foreign Legion. This is an example, this law is an example of a union, the union of those foreigners with the Ukrainian soldiers, now they are fighting for Ukraine and also for all Europe, also for us in France or in Germany. Ukraine has to take every support from everywhere in the world. Only a strong union of states Governments and citizens can help to fight against the Putin's aggression. We are to promote everywhere this union to help Ukraine and also to help the continental Europe to become a space of democracy, freedom, solidarity and fraternity. Thank you very much.